Pets bring out the best in us. They love us unconditionally. Rich or poor, they're there for us and we need to be there for them. Last year, Pet Aid Colorado treated more than 8,000 pets, but in Metro Denver alone, there are more than 33,000 homes with pets living in poverty. The need is vast. We must do more. Probably Scotty have saved my life several times. When you're on limited means and there's a place where you can take your pet and get the best care you can possibly get, it's incredible. We are working harder than ever to create better outcomes for all of our furry friends. We're expanding access to our services with referrals from many partners who also serve vulnerable populations. Today's the 22nd, right? Through our community outreach clinics, we go mobile and take the hospital right to our clients. We focus our resources on treating sick and injured pets so they can leave suffering behind, return to health, and stay in loving homes. So when we adopted her, she was completely blind. She had a very bad upper respiratory infection and both of her eyes got really infected. She, had a, she was in a lot of pain, so we needed to have the surgery to reduce her pain. We would have had to bring her back to the shelter. It was just way too expensive. And she should be good to go. The fact that we were able to get crow's nest surgery and be able to keep her and have the opportunity to have her in our lives is so special and I'm so, so grateful. And when the unexpected emergency hits someone living on the economic fringe, they imagine the only choice is surrender to a shelter or euthanasia. He lost uh, all of his energy, he wasn't playing anymore, really lethargic, just wasn't being Luke, wasn't being himself. We were just expecting the worst and hoping for the best with him. They actually called me when I was at work and said he needed to do emergency surgery. I told my grandson, I go, we don't have money. What are we doing? What are we going to do? And poor thing, he just shook his head because, you know, I'm his grandmother and he didn't like seeing me cry. And we were scrambling. I was unemployed and um, Brittany was looking at all possibilities. He was in a life-threatening stage at that point because he had the baby bottle nipple in him for about three months. If pet aid was not there, he would have died. Thank you, pet aid. You saved our dog's life, and probably mine too. Because of our generous donors, we're able to provide better outcomes, like Luke's, to a growing number of pets and people. But the need is vast. We must do more. Every gift makes a difference. Thank you. Thank you so much. When somebody loved me, everything was beautiful. Every hour spent together lives within my heart.